Hey, Hope Valley family, I'm excited that I get to share a devotional with you today, and I pray that it gives you some encouragement, solidifies your faith, and brings you some hope in this season of life. The scripture of focus for this devotion comes from Matthew 14, verses 28 through 33, and it reads, And Peter answered, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And he began to sink and he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand, took hold of him, saying to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when the, they got in the boat, the wind ceased and those in the boat worshiped him, saying, Truly, you are the son of God. Now, like all of you, I'm stuck in the house. Much to my boy's happiness, though, that means more playtime with daddy. Well, I don't know about your kids, but my oldest is always coming up with some wild scenarios like, Daddy, what if our house caught on fire? Or Daddy, what if the fire alarm goes off? Or Daddy, what if we had no food? Daddy, what if my arm falls off? What if, what if, what if? And where some of these scenarios are from my son's innocent imagination, I also suspect that some of these questions come from a place of worry and uncertainty. Many of us during this crisis probably have our own what ifs rolling around in our head. I've heard that worry is the obsessive repeated thoughts about future outcomes, and it bothers us because we can't control them, so we worry. Many experts have said that the massive shutdown had to occur because our infrastructures could not control the virus. And therefore, we worry because something that was pretty definite before, like health care, our sports, and our evening show, are not that definite anymore. Today, in the midst of COVID-19, I've been doing my part, like the leading health professionals have told me, washing my hands, cleaning off my groceries and packages, and staying in the house. But even with these precautions, we face the saddening fact that people all around us are still getting sick, people are still losing jobs, and even some of us are dying. And since this virus has kept us locked in, watching the news for weeks now, the paranoia starts to set in. What if I didn't wash my hands long enough? What if I was exposed to someone who has it? Will I get it too? What if I start to cough or feel shortness of breath? Does that mean I have it? What if I'm hospitalized? Does that mean it's over for me? No, do not give yourself a way to worry and doubt. For Jesus is walking in the midst of this storm and asking you to take his hand. Remember, Paul writes in Philippians, do not worry about anything, but pray about everything. I love what Dr. Michelle Bingson says in her book, Breaking Anxiety's Grip, about the what ifs. Essentially, she says, instead of going on the endless rabbit trails of what ifs, she says, what if we trust him, him being Jesus? She goes on to quote numerous scriptures. What if you believe that this didn't take him by surprise? Matthew 6, 8. What if you believe I really do work all things together for your good? Romans 8, 28. What if you stop listening to the father of lies who fills your mind with what ifs, kept your eyes on me and listened only to the voice of your heavenly father who speaks truth and love? John 8, 44 and John 17, 17. Which brings us back to Peter, who stepped out of a perfectly good boat during a storm full of faith, trusting in Jesus. But as soon as the wind blew, scripture tells us that he felt afraid and began sinking. Maybe you started this COVID season full of faith. I'm trusting in Jesus. No COVID formed against me shall prosper. But the length of this storm is starting to get to you. And you feel like if you don't get out of the house and start socializing with some people, you're going to explode. Maybe a close friend or a loved one just got sick and you felt the wind starting to blow. Or maybe you just found out that your last check came last week and some water has splashed in your face. If that is you, do not take your eyes off of Jesus in this storm. Do not start sinking in the waters of depression and anxiety and despair. Cry out to the Lord, for he is mighty to save. Take hold of him and only him and see how this storm will begin to cease. See how the father of lies voices will begin to stop. John 16, 33 tells us, that in the world you will have tribulation, storms, COVID-19 will come, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus is not troubled by this storm family, for he is a sure thing. Ask yourselves this question today. What if I stopped worrying and started trusting in him? Pray with me, family. Father, thank you for your son, Jesus, who has overcome the world overcome every lie, overcome every disease and virus, overcome even death. Father, help us to trust you with our concerns. Remind us not to worry about anything, but to come to you with everything. Help us to know that you will not leave us helpless, to drown in our worries. Help us with our unbelief, Father. 
draw near to us and cast away all doubt that you are who you say you are. Remind us, Lord, that nothing can separate us from your love, not even death. When we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Well, family, I love you. See you next time.